Renfro while paneling out here today near 44th Street. I'm like chasing the thing left handed. Whoa, there he is. Very close indeed, Micah. We are just off 44th Street here in Manhattan Beach. I am told the shark was in about six feet of water, one of two spotted out here today. It swam past paddle boards and underneath surfboards, what appears to be a great white shark swimming amongst dozens of people in just a few feet of water off the Manhattan Beach shore. A big shallow just went right underneath me. I'm like, whoa. There it is. Cool. Gus McConnell caught it on camera while paddling out here today near 44th Street. I'm like chasing the thing left-handed. Whoa, there he is. Gus went searching for sharks with his board, his snorkel, and his waterproof camera after hearing about other sightings in recent days. I'm not personally worried about them because they, they're juveniles. They're smaller. And they get giant. When you see like a 10-footer or a 15-footer, that's when you want to think about like getting out of the water. While the experienced surfer seems to have no fear, the idea of a shark so close to shore is unnerving for some swimmers. If I was there, I would have been like really scared. Pauline Hinckley and her father, Daniel Matsusaka, came to the beach from the Inland Empire and are surprised to hear about the sighting. It's something that you don't see every day. You know? But it is happening more and more. According to surfers like Gus, there have been several reports of great white sightings in the past week. In addition, Gus says he has seen more dolphins and even migrating whales. Gus shot these pictures on Saturday during the South Bay Board Riders contest. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful stuff. Can't beat it. Yeah. Something money can't buy. And Gus does believe those sharks are juveniles. He says they're about six feet long. He plans on heading back out into the water tomorrow to go see some more and hopefully catch some more on camera. Reporting live from Manhattan Beach, Carolyn Costello, KTLA 5 News.